Hello, lovely Cancerians. A little bit of a white sage spray. Yes, I am sitting on the floor of a hotel room, Cancer. I am. I'm on vacation, but I want to bring you your love reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and this is going to be August 1st through the 15th. Love. It's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone. I hope it does. Do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. If you guys need a personal reading, you can click below and all my information is there. This is a love reading for Cancer. Also too, just a little warning, sometimes a bad word will, word will come out of my mouth. It does. Sometimes it's fun too. If that offends you, Sesame Street is to the left. Amish tarot is to the right. Find one, pick one, this isn't it. All right, it's Cancer, let's go on with Cancer. Also to you guys, I am on Instant Go, so if you have a quick question that you need an answer to, you can find me over there as well. Let's take a look at Cancer. These cards, well, they were meditated upon at Cancer and they were shuffled, but we're gonna do another quickie to get the energy moving, Cancer. All right, Universe Spirit, what is coming in for Cancer and love? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, August 1st through August 15th, Cancer in Love. What's coming in for Cancer? Show me Cancer in Love, please. All right, we're gonna cut this beautiful deck now, Cancer, and we're gonna have a little conversation about your love lives, August 1st through the 15th. Give me a second, and Mom will be right with you. All right, my lovely Cancerians, let's take a look. In Love. Cancer. How you guys doing? Everybody doing okay? Good. It's good. It's really good. It's good, Cancer. It's amazing. I've had quite the adventure this week, but that's for another channel, okay? It is, but let's talk. All right, let's do it. All right, so let's see, Cancer, what is going on August 1st through the 15th for you guys. Overall energy, bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. Well, aren't you just all about the family, Cancer? which we all know Cancerians are, right? Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment. This is my family card. A lot of you guys are happy. You're experiencing some happiness right now. I love it. Coming into the current moment, we, we do have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse though. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Some of you might be having some financial issues right now. There could be a loss of money, right? This is a love spread, but I'm just saying, or the Ten of Pentacles can be a lack of stability within a relationship, okay, within a commitment. Some of you are involved with an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, but it's interesting because we do have this Ten of Cups. So something is making you guys real happy. We're gonna find out what that is. What's influencing that Ten of Pentacles in reverse is the Ace of Swords, clarity, <clears throat> truth, victory. You might be cutting someone out or they may be cutting you out, Cancer, because it's influencing that Ten of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Could be a lack of communication or just somebody's getting cut out, all right? Because again, you guys are trying to get this family, this card, this Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. The recent past, you have the devil in reverse, exactly. You guys in the recent past let go of something that was toxic. Negative thinking, something that just wasn't good for you, some type of toxicity in your love life. And it's because coming into the current moment, there's a lack of stability within a commitment, right? What's on your mind is the Ace of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You guys might be focusing on money right now with that Ace of Pentacles, right? Because in the, in the past, you just let go of some toxic cancer. All right. So you might be deciding to concentrate on work with the Ace of Pentacles. If not, then you're just thinking heavily about a commitment, right? The Ace of Pentacles is all about the universe handing this, that seed and saying, go for it, go plant it, go take care of it. Mama it, because it has potential to get off the ground and it has a lot of future potential cancer. Why it's all happening is the Knight of Wands. Could be fire energy, Leo Sag Aries is why this is all happening. If not, the Knight of Wands is travel. Some of you guys might be traveling. 
um, but I think this is probably the energy of a person, but also too, it could be though, really, with the Knight of Wands, Cancer, you guys are pursuing, you're taking action, you have something that you're passionate about, and it's some type of brand new beginning that you're trying to get off the ground. If it's not a commitment, it could be a new job or money or some type of stability that's bringing in money, but it's got you guys taking action, feeling passionate. Some of you, it will be a person, a Leo, Sag, Aries, right? But you gotta be careful with that Knight of Wands. You do, because sometimes, well, they just want a big fat sandwich, a Cancer. Wink, wink, if you know what I mean. And then they're gone on to the next Uber to get them out, all right? So be careful of that energy. I'm just saying, if not, then again, a lot of you Cancerians are all about action and forward movement because that's what that Knight of Wands does. He takes off, he's pursuing, he or she is pursuing some type of new beginning action, moving forward. Coming in, you're gonna experience the Five of Wands. Exactly, Cancer, you guys are not putting up with a shit. With the Five of Wands in reverse, you're not gonna be a part of a competitive situation. You're not gonna participate in any, in any type of conflict. You're laying it down. Some of you might be clearing the air with a Leo Sagittarius Aries. If not, you're just moving forward. You know what you want. You cut the Ace of Pentacles on your mind, Cancer. You do. It's right here in front of me. I see it, all right? I know what you're thinking about, okay? And you're not thinking about being somebody's side bitch. And you're not thinking about competition or conflict, you're laying it down. <laughs> Done. Because how you see yourself right now, well, isn't that what mom just said? The 10 of swords in reverse, Cancer. You guys are getting over an ending. Some type of betrayal, feeling really backstabbed. 10 of swords is a painful ending, but in the reverse, you guys are recovering from that. That's why coming in, you're done with the conflict. You're all about the Ace of Pentacles, Cancer, you are, and moving forward, all right? Because coming in right now, again, we either have a loss of money or a loss of stability within, within a relationship that could affect the home. And again, for some of you guys, that might be why you have this Ace of Pentacles on your mind, money and job, to try to get out of this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you, this is gonna be money, even though this is not a money spread. Some of you, this is gonna talk about a commitment, a relationship. But right now, yeah, you guys see yourself getting over some type of ending or hurt, being backstabbed, betrayal. Because remember, in the recent past, you let that go. Devil in reverse could have been a Capricorn. But releasing the toxicity on the road to recovery, Cancer, I like it, okay? Outside influences coming in is the two of pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This outside influence, when I speak of that, is energy that's coming in the universe just brings your way. You have no control over it. It just happens cancer and with the two of pentacles yes virgo capricorn taurus but also it's talking about juggling or perhaps weighing up options it could be somebody juggling different people different options different ideas but also to cancer it could be you guys refocusing weighing your options finding balance knowing that you have to juggle a lot in your life right now some of you might be juggling finances in a relationship it could be just juggling a lot that's going on in your life because why coming in you're laying down conflict you're just not dealing with it and you're going to remain balanced and find the balance in your life cancer hopes or fears is the seven of swords in reverse libra gemini aquarius i think that you guys maybe you want an apology right you might want an apology um, also too with that seven of swords in reverse you're hoping to no longer deceive yourself as well right if you were deceiving yourself in the recent past you let that go um, but also to the seven of swords in reverse can't talk about somebody returning to the scene of the crime if somebody did you wrong cancer you want an apology you want to clear the air also to again you just no longer want to deceive yourself when it comes to love most likely it outcome is the six of wands in reverse Leo Sage Aries, six of wands in the reverse. It's the energy of just feeling like you failed in some way, like you're a failure when it comes to your love life, right? And again, that might be why that ace of pentacles is on your mind. Money, 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 and jobs for a lot of you Cancerians. Also too, the six of wands is just a lack of victory and success or not really gaining the recognition that you deserve, Cancer. Um, 
but I think a lot of you are just in healing mode here when it comes to love and probably just focusing on different um, areas of your life because your challenge is the Ace of Swords. It's to get some type of communication or some type of clarity, right? And a lot of you just didn't get it in the recent past, so you just let it go with that devil in reverse and decided to put your focus elsewhere. It could be because of a Knight of Wands, Leo Sagittarius. If not, it's just somebody that was very flighty that was in and out of your life, right? Um, and your challenge is to either get communication from this person or some type of truth and clarity, right? But I don't really think you're that worried about it because coming in, you're laying that shit down. Somebody might be coming in to clear the air, but we're going to clarify. We are. We're going to open this bitch right up, Cancer. Show me Cancer. Let mom here do a couple well shuffles, Cancer. Show me Cancer, August 1st through the 15th. Open up this reading and give us some clarity we need it universe what is going on so the recent past we have the devil in reverse you guys let go of something either negative negative thinking feeling trapped some type of toxicity why is the devil here for cancer please and we have the king of cups well there you are showing up cancerians right you guys regained control of your emotions in the recent past. And by doing that, you let go of something toxic, right? That just was no longer good for you when it comes to love. Yeah, some of you may have been dealing with another water sign, but I really think that that's your energy, Cancer. Using your intuition, remaining emotionally balanced, and letting go of things that just no longer served you. Cards are just flying. Coming in right now, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Lack of stability within a commitment. Maybe some financial loss for some of you guys. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for cancer, please? Ooh, my nose is itching. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, being disappointed, right? Seven of Pentacles in reverse is the energy of, I put a lot of effort into something for quite a while. Might be seven months, seven years, but it has the past tied to it. There was nurturance, there was love, there was effort. And well, you're coming in right now just looking at it as a disappointment or a big waste of time at Cancer. Um, and it's clarifying that Ten of Pentacles in reverse, something just doesn't have the stability to grow in a commitment. Your challenge is the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here for Cancer as the challenge, please? And it's the Six of Wands, yeah, to gain some type of attention or, or clarity. The challenge for some of you is to gain communication or clarity from somebody, which would result in victory and success. So it's gonna be a challenge to get the truth, probably, or communication from this person and any type of victory or success. What's on your mind is the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles on Cancer's mind? The Ten of Wands. Yeah, so in a love sense, I think you guys are just feeling overburdened with that Ten of Wands, more fire energy, and so you're focusing probably on career and money with that Ace of Pentacles at Cancer because other things in your life are just bringing you a lot of burdens. For some of you, it was this relationship that you're thinking about that brought a lot of worry, a lot of pressure, and a lot of burdens, all right? You're feeling overburdened, but it's a 10. It's the end of that cycle. Why it's all happening is the Knight of Wands. Who or what is this Knight of Wands for Cancer? Could be a Leo Sag Aries. Why is the Knight of Wands here, please? And we have the tower in reverse and a Scorpio. So the situation is, could be a fire sign that you're avoiding or that they're avoiding you. And as a result of that, coming into the present moment, there's just this lack of commitment, this lack of stability. Um, I think you guys are feeling very overburdened by this person or this energy, and so you're deciding to focus elsewhere, right? Um, also, too, you guys might be just avoiding something and moving forward in a different direction with that Knight of Wands. Coming in, you have the Five of Wands in reverse, more fire, but just laying down some, some conflict, not really wanting to deal with it, just saying, you know what, I'm not dealing with it. I'm not talking to this person. I'm not going to communicate. I'm not dealing with it. I'm certainly not being a part of any type of competition either. Why is the Five of Wands here for Cancer coming in? And you have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So you're going to experience laying down some type of conflict, not really bothering with it, 
because there's just a lack of change in the situation with this person. Major Arcana, it's about karma with that Wheel of Fortune, but there's no progress, there's no change. The wheel isn't moving in your favor. So you're just not gonna deal with it, you're dropping it. You're not gonna deal with any kind of conflict with this person. Again, we have a possible fire sign in the uh, foundation here, but somebody's avoiding somebody, okay? You see yourself as the Ten of Swords getting over betrayal or an ending of some sort. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Cancer? And we have the Three of Wands. Yeah, y'all are looking out to the future, expansion, planning for the future. Some of you are traveling. Some of you are just waiting for things to come in for you. It's all about looking to the future and making decisions. It's time to expand now because you see yourselves as getting over some type of ending, some type of betrayal or heartbreak. You're healing and now ready to move on to the future. I like it. Coming in external to you, external influences coming in is the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for Cancer, please? Six of Cups could be somebody from your past or you're just trying to balance out, like having nostalgia, looking back at the past. Some of you guys have kids with this person and with the Two of Pentacles, you're trying to weigh your options. You're trying to balance everything out. But um, again, to some of you, external influences with that Two of Pentacles, somebody was probably juggling, right? But coming in, I think that you guys are just trying to balance out the situation, right? With some stuff that went on in the past. You're still having memories or they're still having memories of you. Somebody could be coming in from the past, but I'd be very careful because they're probably juggling other people, right? And you guys let go of that in the recent past with that devil in reverse, so don't even entertain it, all right? I think mainly you guys are just trying to to weigh up your options, um, how to move on from, from this past. Your hopes or fears is the Seven of Swords in reverse. Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse for Cancer? What's going on with the Seven of Swords? We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so again, your hope, I think, here, Cancer, is for somebody to apologize, maybe for some type of ending with that Ace of Pentacles in reverse, or you just no longer want to deceive yourself when it comes to a relationship that just doesn't have the potential to get off the ground. There's no long-term potential with it, and you no longer want to deceive yourself with that Seven of Swords in reverse, right? The Knight of Cups just flew out could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but your hope is to open yourself up emotionally again, right? And to stop thinking about this situation and not living in a fantasy, don't deceive yourself, that there's really, you know, the universe is trying to tell you, especially with that Wheel of Fortune in reverse, that this is just not the relationship with that Ace of Pentacles in reverse. There's just no long-term potential. Um, and so that's why you guys are releasing it, Devil in reverse. Ten of Swords in reverse. Most likely outcome is the Six of Wands, though. Why is the Six of Wands here for Cancer? And we have the Ace of Swords, so here's your clarity. Here's your breakthrough. Here's possible communication. I think more than anything, this is a breakthrough. It's clarity. So most likely outcome, Six of Wands in reverse. You guys feel a lack of victory or success. Like you feel like you're not getting the recognition that you deserve in the most likely outcome, but you're going to have some type of clarity, some type of breakthrough, right? You're going to finally get, whether that's through communication from somebody else or that's your own breakthrough, right? Because swords are all about mental energy. Um, you will find victory and success. You will, even though you feel like you have failed in some way in the situation, you guys have good things coming in, with, especially with that Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Swords here for most likely outcome for Cancer? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Please clarify this Ace of Swords. The Magician in Reverse, exactly. So most likely outcome with the Six of Wands in Reverse, you guys feel like you have failed in some way, right? You, get, you didn't get the recognition and the attention, so you guys released it in the past. But Ace of Swords, you're gonna have a breakthrough. You're gonna have clarity in the situation to what the magician in reverse, a manipulator, or why something didn't manifest, right? You will have that clarity, even if that person didn't give it to you, right? It's gonna be a breakthrough that either you were manipulated with that magician in reverse, could be a Gemini or an Aries, or you're gonna have clarity as to why this situation just didn't have the potential to manifest. You didn't have what you needed. You weren't able to manifest um, this relationship for long-term potential. So either way, you guys have a breakthrough and you will have success. You're going to move on. Money looks good for you guys too. That's what I have for you, Cancer. August 1st through the 15th of 2018. Love you hard. Love me hard back. And I will talk to you very soon. Take care.